back again with another 3D printing tutorial. This time it's a quick guide and working out what temperature works for your specific filament. Different filaments, even if they're the same kind of filament, may want different temperatures depending on what you're printing, the speed and the printer. So I really recommend doing a test like this just so you can pick the right temperature for you. Now I have the new filament loaded, I quickly go into the app and make sure that the printer understands that it's ABS and not PLA like my other filaments. Now what you're looking for is a temperature test tower or calibration tower like this one, Maker World. There's also other ones online such as this one, this is my personal favourite and in the description it tells you how to program it so it changes temperature appropriately for both Cura Slicer and Prusa Slicer. Here's the model imported into Bamboo and here's some of the features I quite like about it. We have this part that tests overhangs at different angles. We have this sharp point which is good for testing extrusion and stringing, as well as different distances of bridging. In Bamboo Slicer you can't actually code it to do it automatically, so you have to go in at each height that you want the temperature to change and put the code in manually. So I scroll up to the right height, add custom G code, Make sure you use the M104 command and the S command before putting your temperature. When you slice it, it should tell you whether it's sliced appropriately, if there's something wrong with the code, and if you set it on temperature, you can see the different temperatures at the different levels. On the right, you can see all the custom codes I did, which is basically copy-paste but changing the temperature. This tower took about an hour to print. Now the fun part of analysing it, I took it outside to try and get the best lighting to show you guys. You can clearly see the difference in quality of overhang here. All of the points did have some stringing, but some were notably worse than others and some were a lot more mangled than others. The seam on the back here is also a good indicator of extrusion. Notice how the quality of the printing improves as it gets hotter further down the tower. In the end, I chose 255. This is hotter than normal for ABS, as faster printers need higher filament temperatures. 